There are still a few days left to get that extra financial help for college. Emily Leonard tells us more about it. Your children have time until the end of the month to apply for FAFSA, the federal student aid. Applications have been fluctuating in the last few years, and a new report analyzes some of the changes we could see this year. Here to tell us more about it is student loan managing editor at Lending Tree, Michael Kitchen. Michael, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So according to this new report, you guys are expecting almost 22% fewer applications than last year. Why? Well, you know, this is still like uh, probably the lingering effect uh, from the COVID period. Uh, you know, we compared it to uh, the first year, uh, uh, year of COVID. And uh, we see that it's, you know, in fact, lower just because there's been more time where people might not have been going to uh, to university and therefore not filing FAFSA. Um, you're supposed to file, a fa well, you, you would want to file a FAFSA every year in order to get aid for that coming year. You can't just file one for, for your entire four years of uh, education. So we see that show up in the statistics as people are staying away from college. However, there's been a rise uh, both within Michigan and just uh, across the country in terms of the number of high school students filling out the FAFSA. So that seems to suggest we're, we're on sort of a recovery in terms of the uh, the number of people interested in, in going to university and uh, pursuing higher education. Okay, so how is the situation here in Michigan? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I mean, the recovery in Michigan is it's, it, it's a little bit slower, but, uh, uh, you know, sort of more uh, uh, toward the top of the list in terms of the, the drop off that it had uh, during this period. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's really kind of early to tell. You know, I think within the coming years, we'll sort of see uh, uh, how well that recovers and, uh, you know, if there's, uh, you know, renewed interest in college uh, among people in Michigan. Okay, so why is it crucial to submit a FAFSA? Why is it so important? Well, you know, uh, you really don't want to leave money on the table. College is, is, of course, very expensive. And so any aid that you can get is, is really worthwhile. And federal aid is, is uh, you know, among the best. I mean, there, there's also state aid uh, and aid from colleges as well. So, for example, um, and each has their own deadlines, too. You should be aware. Uh, you mentioned the uh, the end of June deadline, and that's just for the current year. So, you know, if, if for some reason you needed to change your FAFSA or, or try to get a little bit more aid uh, before the school year ends, uh, you could do that before the, the end of June. But the, the main deadline to, to watch out for is the 1st of October. That's when they open the new FAFSA for the following year. And you want to fill that out as soon as you can because some of it comes on a is, is on a first come first serve basis and so you want to access as much aid as you can this includes grants which you wouldn't normally have to pay back work study and then also student loans and know that you know federal student loans uh, have much better terms than you would get from you know a private lender from a, a private student loan so uh yeah definitely worth filling that out as soon as possible in october and know also that michigan has its own deadline uh, which is the following May, the May before you start school, so about a month before uh, or uh, before the start of the summer or maybe about four months before, uh, three to four months before the start of uh, uh, the fall semester, um, that you'll want to fill it out before then. That way you can also access some, some Michigan uh, state aid. A lot of things to know when it gets to comes to getting our kids through college. Michael Kitchen from Lending Tree, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Emily.